my name is Amy Erber. I'm with Summit Systems Incorporated. We are Mercer's technology partner for the install of the Epson Brightlink 595WI projector. This is an interactive projector which would take the place of a traditional electronic whiteboard in a classroom. So all of the interactivity comes straight from the projector and allows for a dry erase board to become interactive surface. It uses two pens or finger touch. Um, six fingers can interact with it simultaneously along with two pens. So it's actually eight point touch uh, piece of machinery. Uh, you may navigate throughout the desktop or to interact or internet sites um, just as if you were a mouse up at the board or you may annotate digitally um, becoming a digital pen. All right, so we're going to get started and I'm going to take you through this software platform with all of its menus and modes. So here we go. The Epson projector comes with two interactive pens, um, a blue one, you see on this top it's blue, and then there's a second one that's also orange. These pens have two different frequencies which allows for dual users in multiple colors. Um, otherwise, you may use your finger touch and that will also be a, on a different frequency for use all at the same time. If I want to switch my color or the thickness of my pen, I can go right to the menu and tell it what color. And I can easily switch, <coughs> switch back to a color that I want and the pen thickness that I want. If I want to become a mouse, I just simply hit the icon of the mouse, make sure it's blue in the background, that means it's selected, and from there I can navigate through programs. Here's PowerPoint. I'm erasing my annotations. Once again, I am a mouse, so I can navigate away from PowerPoint and back to my desktop. From here you can take it anywhere. You can take it to an internet page or an Excel file or a Microsoft Word or any other files that's connected to your um, desktop or your hard drive. The other mode that we'll be going through is the whiteboard mode. So here we are um, looking at a digital whiteboard. So this allows you to have a full clean screen with a white background. From here, we can make notes for our lecture. We would be able to save anything by clicking on the icon of a disk. This allows you to pull <coughs> um, all of these digital notes and put them wherever you deem necessary in your PC or your laptop. When I hit save, the keyboard will automatically pull up as well as a, as a box that, that asks you where you would like to save this. And there are different file extensions that you may choose from as well. So there's PDF or several different picture uh, file extensions, along with the easy interactive tools, which you would only be able to, to open back up in this particular software program. We can also bring in different backgrounds. There are a few standard backgrounds that have been loaded on to the software platform, such as graph paper. If we choose the graph paper, our whole background becomes a piece of graph paper. That or this type. If you're teaching music, you may change it to the music staff, or you can put on lined paper. Also, you may import any pictures from your desktop and make that your background. And then you can annotate right over that as well. You can show this <coughs> your slides in a frame by choosing the icon with the, <coughs> with, the fr with the three dots on the left. That will allow you to see your frame here. Um, you can 
add slides by choosing this, the picture of the rectangle with the plus sign, you may delete them with the picture of the X. And then you can navigate through them by choosing, <coughs> clicking on the up or down arrow. It. I mean, that's pretty much an overview of that. In order to switch between whiteboard mode and your desktop mode, you would just choose the picture of a computer monitor, and here we can go and desktop annotate once again. I need to first tell it I'm a mouse member, make that background blue behind the picture of the mouse, and you're free to annotate once again. Piece of cake. So, as we can see, it's pretty simple to navigate and to annotate in a digital form. With your pen or with your finger, you should be able to pull a lot of different resources into your classroom and not be connected to your podium or your desk any longer. You can bring people up and collaborate and make this a fun, interesting, and educational activity.